السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے از ٹوینٹی ففتھ آگسٹ اینڈ دا ڈے از وینسڈے سو ایز یو آلریڈی نو دیٹ وی ہیو ڈن ایل سی ایم ان دا پریویس کلاس اینڈ الحمد للہ وی ہیو کمپلیٹیڈ ایل سی ایم So you don't have to do the word problems and the problems which I didn't say you to do. That is problem number one. So we start, we did problem number two, three, four and five. So these only, these four problems you have to practice again for your half yearly exam. Oh, that's more than enough and no need to doing, you don't have to do the word problems. Okay. So pro what problems have been removed from the syllabus? So before we go, as I promised you that in the next class that is today, I will be teaching you about HCF. Let me have a brief revision of LCM which we already learned because some of the students might be having some confusion and doubts. So to clear their doubts and to make the concept crystal clear to them, let us have a brief revision of LCM. LCM, my dear students, stands for lowest common multiple yes you are correct that's l for lowest l is for lowest c is for common and m is for multiple now what does this signify lcm of two numbers or three numbers What does this value signify? What does this mean? So if I say that calculate the LCM of 15 and 20. Okay. So two methods. You have learned two methods so far. The prime factorization method and the common division method. I myself prefer the common division method if uh, no such specifications has been made in the question okay because this method is easier and um, precise okay so what will we do we will be dividing both of these numbers by a, by a prime number and you know that prime numbers are numbers which don't come in the tables of other numbers in other words they can't be divided by other numbers so 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number 7 is a prime number 11 is a prime number and so on one is not a prime number okay one is not a prime number so the first rule is that we will be using only prime numbers to divide these numbers for which we are required to calculate the lcm okay so here both of these numbers 15 and 20 are coming in the table of 5 and you know that 5 is a prime number so we can use 5 over here just count the table of 5 that is divide 15 by 5 so you go you get 5 3 is a 15 so that answer will be written below that number in the next step okay so 5 3 is a is 15 then we will put comma and 5 4 is a is 20 then we will write uh, that how many times we are able to divide Uh, 20 by 5 that's 5 four times is 20 now my dear students you can see that 3 can 3 can 3 is a prime number itself so 3 can be divided by 3 so 3 ones are 3 so the rule is that you will continue dividing unless and until you get ones in the last step ones in the last step so the last step will contain only ones okay so 3 ones are 3 Now three can't divide four. The rule is that the number which is not divisible by the prime number which you are using over here will be copied as it is. So four is not coming in the table of three, so it will be copied as it is. And you know that four will be divided by a prime number. That's two. Yes, you are correct. So we will be dividing four by two. So one will not be divided by two. So one will be copied as it is, and that's our motive to bring one. So don't have to, yani. we don't have to touch one because we have got uh, our uh, we have reached the, the half of our goal so 2 2 is a 
again 2 is a prime number which will be divided by 2 itself so 2 1 will be copied and 2 1s are 2 so this is our target to reach only once in the last digits to have only once in the last digits okay so when you reach when you reach the last step that is that is you have only once in the last digit this is your answer so if you multiply these prime numbers you will get the lcm of these two numbers so what is that my dear students that is 5 into 3 into 2 into 2 if you multiply this one 5 3 is 15 15 2 is 30 and 32 times is 60 so 60 is the prime number of sorry 60 is the lcm of 15 and 20 now what does this mean that was the question which i asked you at the beginning of the video what does this mean that is what is the significance of 60 lowest common multiple lcm means lowest common multiple so definitely this is the lcm of these two numbers but what does this mean if anybody asks you what do you mean by lcm how can you explain it so my dear students actually lcm is lcm is the lowest number or you can say the smallest number yes lcm is the smallest number lcm of two numbers or more than two numbers is the smallest number is the smallest possible number is the smallest possible number that is that is divisible that is divisible by that is divisible by the numbers itself what do i mean by this so in this case 15 and 20 were the numbers and we calculated its lcm as 60 so 60 is the smallest possible number which will be divided by both 15 and 20 simultaneously so you can divide 60 by 15 and 20 both at the same time that is that is what lcm means hope you understood now in the next video we are going to start hcf be ready